This is Super Yacht News with Eve Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so tombstoning is described by the Cambridge Dictionary as the dangerous activity of jumping from very high rocks or structures into water whilst keeping the body straight. Now, the Cayman Islands Shipping Registry posted a safety bulletin. This is something that's quite common practice. Uh, flag states of yachts will send out bulletins on various different subjects, including safety. This one was sent out uh, this year, 2023, after a, a member of the crew of a large yacht was killed after performing this dangerous stunt. Uh, it was the, the flyer was named the flyer to the yachting industry 623, the dangers of tombstoning from yachts. Now I'm going to read from this report to explain what happened. It says a large pleasure yacht was at anchor during a period of downtime following an intensive guest trip over the previous 24 days. The plan was to let the entire crew enjoy a recreational period of swimming and water sports activities. Now, this is quite common uh, to do uh, after you've had a very busy period. The, 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 you know, the, the captain will give the crew a day off to chill out. Now, I'll go back to the report. It says, shortly after a safety boat was launched, a number of crew members entered the water at the swim platform, which is the normal way of entering the water. However, two crew members went up to the port bridge wing with the intention of jumping into the water from a height of approximately 17 meters or 55 feet. Now, when the safety boat was repositioned nearby, the first crew member jumped entered the water and resurfaced without incident. Now, when it was time for the second crew member to jump, the crew member turned around and jumped backwards whilst attempting a backflip before entering the water. And a crew member was described as entering the water badly and when he came to the surface was unresponsive. The crew member was quickly recovered to the main yacht and the yacht medical team administered first aid and started CPR. The medical team was led by a qualified nurse. That's something else that is quite common on a larger yacht. They'll have uh, members of the crew, well, every yacht will have members of the crew trained in first aid, but it's very common to have one of the stewardesses is also a, a qualified nurse. Now back to the report, the crew member was transferred to the shore's tender while the first aid and CPR continued and care was passed to waiting paramedics and ambulance crew. And they said at no time did the crew member regain consciousness or show signs of life. A one hour, 18 minutes had elapsed between the crew member jumping and care being passed on to the ambulance crew. You have to remember in this time, they had to recover the person, call the ambulance, then they have to get the person ashore. So it can take uh, quite a bit of time for these things to happen. The crew member was declared deceased on arrival at hospital. Now, we don't know the name of the yacht or where in the world this happened, but we thought it was a good idea to bring it to people's attention, so hopefully it may save lives. Now, the master's decision, the, just going back to the report now, the master's decision to allow the crew leisure time for swimming and water sports activities at anchor was laudable and such actions are to be encouraged. However, leisure activities can pose hazards. Commensurate with the hazards associated with work activities. As such, the risks associated with the leisure activity should be known and mitigated wherever possible. It says that the master and three senior officers were present on the bridge wing when both crew members jumped into the water. It's not just crew members that uh, I've been seen doing this. Even some famous people have done this, such as apparently singer Beyonce. Team, turn up. One, two, three. She's off. <laughs> Footballer named Lionel Messi and other uh, celebrities have all decided it was a good idea to jump from yachts. Uh, the Cayman Islands safety brief says that jumping into the water from a great height or tombstoning is inherently dangerous and serious or even fatal injuries can occur on entering the water. Clearly, this is a, an instance of that happening. 
and it says some of the things that can happen when you think everything's everything's safe to do so it says water depths can alter with the tide the water may be shallower than it seems uh, submerged objects like rocks may not be visible they can cause serious injury if you jump on them and the shock of the cold water may make it difficult to swim and the strong currents can rapidly sweep people away so yeah like i said we, we just wanted to talk about this uh if we can save one life by talking about this crazy um activity then i think uh, we'll be happy if we can save some people um we know a lot of crew members watch this so if you are watching obviously a lot of people are you know they sometimes they get uh decisions are altered by uh, alcohol and stuff like that but would say just be think about it and be careful and obviously uh I, I wouldn't recommend anybody jumping from anywhere high up like that i mean we have to do it in uh, in our safety stuff but we do it on a controlled situation we're wearing a life jacket we're jumping correctly um you know we're not doing backflips and stuff like that uh so uh, and we have to jump from it's not 17 meters i can assure you uh, and that is uh, for me that's that's quite enough for me to I, I would not be doing it voluntarily all right anyway we'll move on to the next story is alpha nero on the move now on tuesday we received a message from a viewer saying they thought they saw alpha nero passing jolly harbor in antigua uh, this was a uh, 9 a.m local time uh, he sent a very fuzzy photo it was very far away uh, but it did indeed look like alpha nero now about a day later it was confirmed that it was indeed alpha nero as the yacht popped up back on to ais after three months of not broadcasting um the yacht was in saint john's harbor antigua which is just north of jolly harbor so no doubt uh, this chap saw the vessel passing by now also interestingly the yacht had entered the destination of saint kitts on ais which is one of the neighboring islands uh, and it later departed from um, St. John's Harbour and headed uh, towards St. Kitts, as you can see here on the AIS data. She arrived in St. Kitts around midnight UTC and appears to have dropped anchor there near Charleston Ferry Pier on the west coast of the island. Now, it marks the first time that Alpha Nero has left Antigua in over 18 months. Now, so why has the yacht gone to St. Kitts right now? It would seem that the yacht has left Antigua because of the weather. They are expecting the worst storm in some time to hit the island as a weather front moves in from Barbados. So, and they probably thought it was it would be safer uh, on the island of St. Kitts. So if you're in St. Kitts, please let us know uh, and uh, perhaps if you can get some footage or photos of the yacht at anchor there and send them to us here at news at esisman.co.uk. And you can use wetransfer.com to send bigger uh, files. What I'm going to be doing in, the, in this series of vlogs is recording the journey across the Atlantic. All right, guys, if you want to see the 10 part vlog film on board a yacht I was on crossing the Atlantic and beyond, sign up to patreon.com slash esisman. You'll find behind the scenes videos and extras not published on YouTube, including behind the scenes videos from Monaco Yacht Show and more behind the scenes videos, including the car deck from Monaco Yacht Show posted today. Uh, we also recently made a video on how we make the Super Yacht News videos. So that's an interesting video, as well as the patron chat series and the patron only Q&A series where you can ask questions answered in patron only videos. A new one is coming soon and you'll get early access to YouTube features advert free. And be sure to check out our Super Yacht News channel. It's all the goodness of these Super Yacht News videos, but in bite-sized chunks. And now you can get the full episode of Super Yacht News. It's going to be published on the Super Yacht News channel, so you can get all your Super Yacht News in one place. All right, guys, if you've got any information about any of the stories here or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You can get us at the About page on the YouTube channel, you can get us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook Messenger, and on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, have a great Friday, a great weekend, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye. Team, turn up. One, two, three. She's off. <laughs>